going to show you how to use the PME airbrush and compressor. First of all, if we look at the airbrush, this is a single action gravity feed airbrush, which means it has a single action lever to control the airflow and a cup to feed the colour to the needle. First of all, let's add some colour into the airbrush. So I'm just going to remove the lid and I'm going to add in a few drops of colour. So, make sure that you replace the lid securely onto the top of the cup before you attempt to use the airbrush. So I'm actually going to switch the airbrush on and then I'm going to vary the distance from my work and also vary the pull on the lever to control the airflow. It's a good idea to practice on a piece of paper towel or card before you actually begin work on your cake. So I'm going to switch it on at the button and I'm going to pull the lever back. This helps build up my colour and just by using more pull you can see I've increased the colour that's on my kitchen paper. And then again, a little bit more pull gives me a thicker line and a little bit more pull again and I get a much wider line. I can also go in close and I can create lettering by doing this and a fine line. By building up, using a soft line, I can infill the colour just by toing and froing. So now I'm going to clean out my airbrush by removing the lid. Make sure that you remove any excess colour into the pot, so just tip that out. And make sure that you use lukewarm water to then add this into the well. Give this a rinse round and again remove that into a small bowl. Again add in some lukewarm water. You can use a tapered brush just to get into the fine detail area to very gently clean out around the well. Add in some lukewarm water, not too much. Add the lid back on. And now into some paper towel, switch the airbrush on until you get clear liquid coming through. You can see that's clear now, so this means that it's clean. And just replace that back into the holder. And that's how to use the PME airbrush and compressor.